be jumping back on. We did have a little bit of uh, technical difficulties here this morning, um, but that's okay. We're I'm back up and running, so I apologize. Again, if you're just tuning in, Amaya McLeod at about 9-10. The Roman had a fantastic basketball career here at RFA. Um, she made the decision just here this week that she's going to be transferring to Lemoyne College, so we'll be excited to talk to her. At about 9.30, we'll talk to the Ariskany head baseball coach, Eric Enos. Um, Ariskany just punched their ticket uh, to the state final four, so excited to talk to him. We'll be talking a little bit of Caitlin Clark. We've talked about Caitlin Clark the last three weeks on this show, and uh, I know we said last week, but it's fun to talk some women's basketball, which we haven't done here in a while. Um, but again, I was watching some of the clips from yesterday, and we'll dive into it. Is the league treating her any different? Um, are the referees not, you know, they're not calling a lot of fouls on her. They seem to be letting the game play. Um, or does she just have to kind of suck it up and get a little tougher? But we'll talk a little bit about that um, and more. The NHL last night, the Rangers fall in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Panthers won 2-1. to one. Bobrovsky was fantastic. Igor was arguably, I think, the best goalie in the playoffs. Uh, so let's see. I think we got Amaya on, so we'll get back to hockey talk in just a minute. Amaya, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Awesome. Thanks for uh, for jumping on with me this morning. I was having a little bit of technical difficulty, but I'm back up and running, so I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having me. No problem. So, Amaya, you made the big news this week. To, uh, I did. Transfer to Lemoyne. So, congratulations to you. Thank you. So, I want to first talk with you. Um, you had a great um, high school career, great time playing at RFA. We all enjoyed, you know, watching you play there. What were some of the big transitions for you um, going from high school to the college game? So, you know, going from high school to college, you don't really know, like, what you're looking for. You don't really know, like, what it's going to be like until, like, you actually get there. You think, like, you think you know, but you really don't. So it was honestly a big transition, you know, going from playing high school and then going to playing college. Even, like, I didn't get to play a lot because I got injured in October. So even just going and playing all summer throughout against my teammates, it's – you're playing against bigger, better people who want to be there. Cause, you know, you don't always get the high school where people want to be there. So, you know, going there, classes are harder. You know, I moved away from home, so that was harder, you know, transitioning from being home with my family every day to, you know, not seeing them as much because I'm five and a half hours away. So, honestly, it was a big transition. So my your first your first year when you were at Youngstown, I know you had the injury. There was a coaching change. How hard was it for you to have to watch? Because you're somebody right in high school where you weren't on the bench much, but now you get into college, you, you get at that uh, Division One level, and you have to sit and watch. What was that like? It was definitely it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was very hard to sit there and watch my team, knowing that I couldn't help, and you know. I had to I had to overcome that obstacle, and it took me a little bit because you know I am I am a dog. You know I like to work, I like to get after, I like to play. So sitting there, you know, knowing that I couldn't help my team, I had to find other ways to help my team. So you know I had to, and it was really nice because I'm a freshman going in and I'm playing with fifth year seniors. So you know they they took a chance on me. I'm over here trying to tell them, you know, during games, hey, I see this, I see that, like, I think you can do that. And for them to, like, actually listen to me, knowing that, like, half of them are fifth years out there playing, and I'm a freshman. So, you know, you don't always get that. So my teammates were very supportive in that aspect. And, you know, they listened to me when I was trying to help. So I just had to find different ways to help, knowing I couldn't help on the court. Yeah, and, you know, the transfer portal now, right, in, in any sport – um, you know, makes a big impact. And we talk about it a lot on this show is you have a lot of these transfers that are fourth year, fifth year players, and it makes it tougher for the high school kid, you know, to be recruited coming in as, as a young kid versus a fourth and fifth year player. Did you see the difference in the fourth and fifth years compared to some of the freshmen that came from high school? Could you, I mean, is it a big change? 
it is a big change and it's not just it's not just skills honestly you know playing in college that long and it's such a it's a faster game you know you have higher competition so just the aspect of them knowing like and being out there for longer you know the skill set could be the same but you know you're not going to get the the playing time because you know they have more experience it's all about the experience you know they have four or five years on you and you're coming in and it's it's a faster paced game so you definitely have to get used to it then because it's not it's not like high school so talk to us a little bit about too you got a chance you guys played in some you know some big arenas against some big teams what was it like throughout the year when when you're you're watching, but you're sitting there saying, man, this, this is big time college basketball. Cause that horizon league was a good league. Yeah, it was. So, you know, being able to see my teammates play and like see them grow, even with all the obstacles that we went through, you know, being able to watch them go against such good teams. Cause like you said, they were, we played against great competition. You know, we played West Virginia. So, you know, just being able to play against those teams, like, even with not playing, just you learn so much. Like I, I say all the time, like I don't, I don't regret going to Youngstown. Like I learned so much about myself mentally, physically, like basketball wise and off the court wise. Like you just learn so much sitting there watching, watching your teammates play. Like even like you always growing up, you pick your best, you pick a best player to watch. And, you know, you kind of resemble your game after them. So being able to sit there, watch my teammates, you know, because we had a, I, I played point guard and guard. So being able to watch our fifth year point guards and guards, like I was able to learn a lot just from them. So honestly, it was, it was great to watch. So now you make the transfer, you make the decision just this week to transfer to Lemoyne. And I think it's great. You're going to be here locally. I, you know, I know you got family here, friends here that'll get a chance to come watch you play. But what went into that decision for you? So, like I said, you don't really know going into high school what you're really looking for in college. So definitely sitting there thinking and, you know, talking with my family, talking with my coaches, and coming off injury, you know. Last year was a really tough year for me with injuries and everything. So, you know, sitting here talking with my family and my coaches, I decided that would be best to come home. Um... LeMoyne has a really great new head coach that just came in, um, Nick DePillo. So I'm really excited. And, you know, after most, I, like I said, I told the Daily Sentinel I went in uh, for my visit, you know, not not deciding to, like, commit or anything. I was planning on taking a couple more visits. But, you know, I went in and I'm halfway through my visit. I went, did a workout with them, talked to the coaches. And I was like, you know, like, honestly, I want to be home for, for a while. Um, I think it would be better to be home. I have more support here. You know, my family can come watch. The community can come watch. Um, and a big thing, like, I love to help out. Like, I do a skills and drills. So even being able to, like, come back and help out whenever I want to. Syracuse is only 45 minutes. So be able to come back, help the kids, help Coach Bev and Nikki Joe with what they're doing. I feel like that was um, also a big, a big part in my decision. But we also, like, Lemoyne's a great school. And we're playing against great competition. We'll be playing against Michigan, Stanford, Princeton. So I'm honestly, like, really excited to get the opportunity to play against them with still recovering and everything. So that was that was really what did it. So you mentioned Coach Coach Nick, and he's 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 coached at the Division One level, Division Three level, and uh, he was an assistant coach on the, the Liberty and the WNBA. So a lot of a lot of coaching experience. Did, did the factor of Coach Nick coming in, like, did that play any factor in you coming there? Did you did you form that relationship with him day one when you when you were there for your workout? I did. After talking with him, you know, I'm a very big family person. You got to get to know them, and that's why one of the reasons why I chose Youngstown because it just felt like a very family environment. And even with him just getting there, you know, he made it a priority to get me on campus. He just signed his papers two days before I got there. So, you know, him making it a priority to get me on campus, being like, hey, you know, I'm not playing around. I really want you here. All that, like, you know, that's that's how you feel loved. That's how you feel like, you know, a coach really wants you. So you want to be somewhere where you're wanted, and that's how he made me feel. So what are going to be some things I know you mentioned? I, I see the youth, youth camps, the skills and drills that you do 
um, for the youth level. But as far as your game goes this offseason, before you go back, what are going to be some things that you'll work on to improve your game? Um, like I said, I just got cleared. So, you know, definitely getting back into the swing of, you know, just playing basketball. So, like I said, the college level is so much faster and everything. So, you know, just getting into the swing of playing college basketball, you know, workouts, because I will be working out with them over the summer. So, you know, just shooting workouts, ball screen stuff, um, you know, just attacking my normal game, honestly. Everything's going to transition. Nothing's really going to change. Honestly, you might just see me be a little better shooter. But, you know, my game's still going to be how it was in high school. And I know, Amaya, you said you're doing a lot of the skills and drills. I, I see it on social media. Where can uh, young kid? where are you going to be doing this at? And how can young kids and, you know, moms and dads um, get their kids signed up to have you help them? So on Thursdays from 4.30 to 5.30, I do a skills and drills co-ed, boys and girls, um, first through third grade. And then right after from 5.30 to 6.30, I do a four through seventh co-ed. And soon, I'm, I'm thinking at the end of June, I'm going to do a um, little camp, a two-day camp coming up. So, my the last question I had, I just wanted to go back to the injury when you were um, at Youngstown. Was, was there somebody, was there a coach, was there a friend of yours, a player, family? Was there somebody you were able to lean on for advice to help get you through that? Because I'm, I'm sure at that level or at any level, right, going through a, a major injury like that your first year, that could take a lot on you mentally. Was there somebody that kind of helped you along the way? Yes, there was. So, um I got injured in October, like I said, before the season even started. And one of my teammates actually, um, a couple weeks after I learned that um, I was going to be out the rest of the season, um, sadly she tore her ACL. So, you know, I always had – she was a fifth year. Um, so I always had her. It was never – we were never – I was never in this alone. We were always in it together, you know. We were having a rough day. We'd lean on each other, you know. We always had physical therapy together. So, honestly, it was nice to have someone, a teammate, because, honestly, like, yeah, I could sit here and talk to my mom and everything. But, honestly, like, no one really understands, like, what you're going through unless, like, you're there. You're the athlete. That's why I always say, like, you really, like, need to be there because you don't – my mom, I'm over here talking to her the whole time, and I'm like, she's like, like I know, like it sucks, but like you just don't understand. We put so much into going there, you know, being away from our families for that much, you know, wanting to play, and then that just happening. So honestly, being able to have my teammate there, who you know, it sucks because we were both hurt, but being able to have her there, lean on her, actually talk to her, because like she knows how it feels. You know, people could just be like, you know, it's not not, not that big of a deal, but they don't really understand like. Honestly, we're there because, like, we love basketball. Basketball is our life. So they don't understand, like, sitting there watching people, watching our teammates play, like, how hard it is for us. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, – I, I unfortunately experienced that when, when I was at Fordham for football. I, I was uh, – my freshman and sophomore year, I was injured. And it's not fun, but you got to you gotta try to find the strength and dig deep. And sounds like you got a really good support crew, whether it's family, friends, and now you'll have a whole community that's going to get a chance to follow you. So um, I appreciate you taking the time this morning. Amaya, it's been fun watching your high school career. I can't wait, wait to watch and follow your, your college career. So I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you. Hope to see you at a game. You got it. I'll be there. <laughs> Sounds good.